may see our sign on the road and say, what is that? You may see a person walking down the road with burgundy robes. Who is that? You know, why don't they have long hair? We're here at Kajutupton Chuling. We're actually in the town of Poughkeepsie, but we have a Wappinger's address. We are an intentional monastic, very traditional community that has roots in a very ancient religion. But we're here as a community that is open. So if anyone wants to come and share and just see who we are and join us, that's, that's perfectly fine. That's fine. The most basic purpose of the Buddha's teachings is to provide a variety of different methods to allow sentient beings, allow living beings to free themselves from suffering and to experience peace and happiness. Suffering really comes from within our own minds. So that means we can free ourselves from suffering by working with our own minds and coming to understand the nature of our minds. And basically everything that the Buddha did was with the motivation that it be a benefit to others. As followers of the Buddha, then we also try to cultivate that motivation of whatever we do, whether it's working or meditating, that with the motivation that may this be a benefit to all living beings. My teacher sent me here to teach people who are interested how to relieve their own suffering. That's how I do all my work with that motivation of can I help sentient beings free themselves from suffering. I think anything that alleviates suffering and brings enlightenment so that the myths and the fallacies that are out there can be eliminated is a very good thing. It's a, it's a great service to have uh, somebody reminding us and to, and to help actually help us break through our uh, suffering. And the more mindful they are, the more mindful they help us be. Most people don't even know the monastery exists, but it's there for, the, for those who want it or those who feel an interest in learning more about it. And I think it's a great asset to the community. We acquired the property in 1979 and just have been since that time gradually working on making it into a functioning monastery and also a retreat center. This used to be a factory when I first came here. It was a one-story factory and I was able to purchase that from the owners a husband and wife, and they, we, they were really, they were, we had some kind of good connection from the very beginning. They were like a mother and father, like a surrogate mother and father to me. And so I was able to purchase it from them. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'd never seen them before, but we both had this feeling. Each of us had this feeling. We sometimes call it the Enlightenment Stupa. It's an object of faith and uh, reverence and devotion, so it helps us on the path. It's facing the Hudson River, so it reflects into the river, stuffed with blessings, mantras, and holy relics. They radiate out. They allay terrorism and disease and strife, and they pull in peace and harmony not just here in this landscape, but radiating out across Wappingers Falls, across New York, across America, and on the river so it reflects in the river. It's facing the Hudson River. Wherever that water goes, whatever it touches is then blessed, so it goes to the opposite bank, touches that bank and then across the country, out into the ocean, and all the oceans eventually touch, so all the continents then get blessed from here. I've, I've been very happy with our connection with the community, not only the people of the area, but just like the, the area itself just inspires me to make more prayers. We are always praying for our local area, we're praying for New York, we're praying for America, so this is something we do regularly. It's fantastic that they're praying for all of us, you know, uh, many politicians say that politi all politics are local. This is absolutely where we need prayer and we need help if we're going to become a more peaceful nation. They've been here for several years and we hope that they will stay here in the future.